Hey everybody, this is Russell with the 460 EFI guys. We're about ready to pull this motor and ship it out to a fella in Alaska. We did the, it was the performance modified intake, motor mounts, and throttle body for him. Other than that, it's a bone stock engine with just stock exhaust manifolds, no cat straight pipe, and this thing screams. I was actually really impressed with a very stockish engine, how much of a difference this thing made. Took a bunch of people for rides and all of them. Some of them even had 460 F250s, F350s. They were all saying the same thing. This thing screams and sounds horrible because the exhaust is crappy. I hate the damn glass packs. But anyways, figured while I have this motor here, I'd do a demonstration video on how to do the low profile throttle body. The intake is, it's a perfect stock fitment so you don't have to worry about that. But as far as wiring it up and also eliminating some of the tubing and just cleaning up the engine bay, so we'll cut back here in a minute with close-ups of the engine and go from there. I wanted to add a couple of notes about this throttle body. So if you're doing a 460 EFI swap, this is the throttle body to use, just the low profile. I also build another one with a different base plate that has the, the tubes coming off of the base plate to hook up over here. And then out of the back, there is... Um, Oh, a GIC fitting that runs through a stainless tube up to the, um, over here, the EGR valve. That way, if you need to stay smog compliant, you can still utilize this throttle body. We're just now starting to advertise for those guys. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the air filter off of here along with the harness just to help demonstrate all the vacuum tubes and the setup a little bit nicer. So you'll notice the, the two rubber tubes coming up here. Are a little bit longer than most people will use. I here's my three quarter inch rise air filter base. I have a one inch spacer on there just to make my life a little bit easier, just be, between swapping harnesses so frequently. So the front one here is going to be the the breather tube that comes from the fill up port. Again, that's the metal one coming down. In the back here is the grommet that's coming off of your idle air bypass which is a ford crown victoria idle air bypass and we'll go over the wiring in a, another video coming up quickly but uh, i wanted to go over the vacuum tubes throttle cable and all those goodies so let's start with the throttle cable you can see it, it comes in here you'll want to wrap it's long enough to come around the front of the distributor and then go ahead and feed it underneath the spark plug wires kind of snake it through there and go ahead and hook it back up into there and then that part's done. And then as far as the, the vacuum tubes go, this engine's very cleaned off, cleaned up. It doesn't have any of the, the smog tubes. It's all been eliminated. They're still in here, hanging in here, just for the sake of the video. But, so for your fuel pressure regulator here, that will come over to the lower vacuum port on the throttle body. And then the bigger one here, you're gonna run that, just kind of, feed it back in there and then up to your map sensor there and then on the back side here on the back i have a brass it's actually a shark bite fitting which fits these really nicely that'll go over to your pcv over here and that way you're dispersing any oil vapor across all eight i don't like to ever run them into just one intake runner because you run the risk of coking or carboning up a, a cylinder that way 